your local weather authority forecast. Well, everyone, happy Sunday. The weekend has came, and now it's left us. But before it did leave us, we did have a really nice temperature change throughout parts of the Permian Basin. The Middle and Desert area, we increased by 1 degree. Big Spring, 5 degrees warmer. And then we do have some of that increased by 10 degrees. Not bad whatsoever, but our friends where it's always nice and warm down in Presidio, cooled down by a degree. So not bad at all. Today's some warm temperatures today, actually beating our average. Today we came in at a high of 89 degrees. Usually around this time, our average is... In April is 78 degrees, so some pretty good temperatures, some warm temperatures. Today warm, but not as warm as how you were back in 2011 when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 97 degrees. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. Our lows did come in warm compared to average, sitting at a high of only 52 degrees. Around this time in April, we're definitely used to 49 degree temperatures. Not bad at all. Currently with the rain that we did see and still some warm temperatures, we are cooling down over to our 50s. Our humidity level because of that rain has has reached up to 16%. Definitely not bad at all. We did have and see our skies going down that sunset at 8, 10 p.m. But again, not bad. Now with that rain that we did see, we're going to continue to see some of that rain tomorrow. But we are in the green for the middle of Tesla area, sitting at pretty moderate. And as we make our way over to Dallas and Alexandria, we do see more of that rain going on compared to the rest of Texas. So we'll take what we can get as we make our way into the evening. It is pretty cloudy right now in certain parts of the basin. That cloud cover is going to continue to be with us as we get into 6 in the morning, mostly in the middle of Tesla area, a little bit in Hobbs and Carlsbad. But then we get over in into noon around 2 p.m. That's when we do see that rainfall coming on in in the middle of area along with some cloud cover. Now that rain is going to leave us by the time we get into 7 p.m. and it's going to stay pretty clear into our Tuesday. So we're going to start off pretty cold and a little bit of some rain because we do have that cold front coming on in by the time we get into 6 in the morning dropping our temperatures into the 50s but we do see temperatures begin to rise just a little bit making us have a nice and really warm kind of Monday. That we get to Tuesday, that cold front does come back in the basin around 6 in the morning, but then we warm on up back into our 80s. Not bad for the beginning of the week. A cool morning at 57 degrees. By the time we get into noon, that's when we will see some temperatures begin to rise along with that rain coming on in, that thunderstorm at 64 degrees. And then by the time we get into 5 p.m., we can enjoy a very warm afternoon sitting at only 74 degrees. So we will take what we can get for that start of our week. Now our kid is going to school. We're going to start off pretty cool at 58 degrees. 69 by the time they get and leave from school, but that seven day forecast is going to show that we will have a 30% chance of some thunderstorms sitting at 74 degrees, but then we get into Tuesday. It's going to be windy, but at least it's going to be in the 90s. So you know what, Rob, we'll take what we can get and just manage that some of that, you know, the rain that we're seeing between tonight and going into tomorrow. I have to tell you, Bridget, as soon as I heard the rain, I smelled it in the newsroom. I ran outside. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Immediately ran back inside. Yes, yes. It's nice to have some rain. It's pretty good for this drought that we're seeing for right now. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Well, thank you.